Armageddon Survival Plan, book E. For printed version please contact jar at jar truth dot net. Chapter 5. A Fresh Start. The Choosing of Noah. Genesis, Chapter 6 colon 9. Genesis, 6 9. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generations, and Noah walked with God. The world became so evil, because people listened to Satan, instead of to God, that the reform school stopped working, and no one was learning to be good enough to go home. In fact, just like today, people were learning to be more and more evil, so God decided to make a fresh start. The Lord decided to spare Noah, because he was not religious, just a believer, who talked to God, and did his best to do his will, teaching his family to do the same. These were exactly the qualities that the Lord was looking for, and Noah was the only one who had them. God warned everyone, through Noah, that if they did not mend their ways, and quickly, he would destroy them all, with a great flood. The devil being in control of people at that time, told them that Noah was insane and that there was no God, and to keep enjoying animal and worldly pleasures. God told people to believe Noah, but they continued their usual habit of ignoring him. Just like today. Matthew 24, verse 37 to 39. Matthew 24 37, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. 2438, for, as in the days that were before the flood they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, 2439 and knew not until the flood came, and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Thus started the thousands of years old tradition, of laughing at God's messengers, prophets and thinking that they are insane, just because they are out of step with the evil majority. Noah was the only really sane person, which is confirmed, by the fact, that God saved him, and destroyed all, every single one, of the criminally, God's and not human law, insane, evil majority. The majority, here in hell, is very often, in fact, almost always wrong. Don't listen to the majority, they are not responsible for your soul. You are. Surah 6, verse 164. Surah 6, 164. Say shall I seek for my cherisher other than I am, when he is the cherisher of all things that exist? Every soul being draws the meat of its acts on none but itself, no bearer of burdens can bear the burden of another. Your goal in the end is towards I am. He will tell you the truth of the things about which ye disputed. If Noah had been one of the boys, and had listened to the evil majority, and had done like they were doing, as they were trying to persuade him to do, he would have been destroyed too. Be the odd one out, do God's will and keep his commandments, and survive like Noah. Don't let the majority drag you into the fire, with them. Noah followed God's orders and built his ark, boat whilst being ridiculed by all the evil people, who were rushing, out of control, towards their own destruction. He continued to plead with them, to take him seriously, but they just kept on making fun of him. God has always warned people, before punishing them, like any good dad, hoping that the punishment will not be necessary, because it will hurt him, more than it will hurt them. Hosea 6 Verse 5 and 6. Hosea, 6 5. Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets, I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and my judgments are as the light that goeth forth. 6 6. For I desired mercy, and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. Noah continued to follow God's orders, and loaded the ark with two of every animal, male and female, and also with his own family. People stopped laughing when the water kept on rising, but by then it was too late. They desperately climbed up trees and mountains, but they had already been warned, and now had to face the consequences, and even the mountains were submerged. The Lord decided to destroy the human animals, 
and not the souls, demonstrating, once again, his great love and compassion. He did this, so that he could build a new school, and give them all another chance. The most efficient method, of doing this, was with water, drowning all the animals, and taking all the souls back, into custody, on the astral plane. The sharks and fishes could then clean up the mess, until the waters finally receded, leaving everything fresh and clean, and ready to start again. God did not use fire, because that would have destroyed the souls, and he has reserved fire for the last day, to terminate both the bodies and souls, of those who have not learned to be good, after thousands of earth years, and hundreds of human lifetimes, and chances. Luke 20, verse 38 and John 9, verse 2, Surah 2, verse 154. Luke 20 38, For he is not a God of the dead, but of the living for all live unto him. John 9 1, And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. Reincarnation, 9 second and his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man, or his parents, that he was born blind? 9-3 Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Sira, 2-154, And say not of those who are slain in the way of God they are dead. Nay, they are living, though ye perceive it not, reincarnation. The Lord was sad, when he saw that he had hurt the vegetation, and the non-human animals, because animals are not bad, they are only animals, and do not know any better, than just to follow their natural, animal instincts. Therefore, God decided, that he would not do that again. The rainbow is God's guarantee, that he will never do that again. Noah and his family gradually multiplied, and one by one, the souls were sent back, from the astral plane, to use the new bodies and be taught, from childhood, to talk to God and to learn to be good. You would then teach your children, and grandchildren, and so on. Unfortunately, the devil deceived you, yet again, creating false gods, and using man's desire for sex, which automatically gives women power over men, to persuade men to do evil, for them, and him. Over many generations the world became worse and worse again, 